It's not even it's not even just me here today, ladies and gentlemen. I got I got a couple surprises. I got a couple awesome friends cuz all my friends are cool and everybody's here to celebrate the 2 year anniversary with me. And not only is it the 2 year anniversary, this episode comes out the week of my birthday. The Chazosaurus Rex <laughs> is birthday. Uh, November 4th is my birthday, that's a Thursday, and that is also the actual official day where I put out the first episode of the Side Project Podcast ever was on my birthday. Um, but like I said, I got some people here with me because you know nobody ever lets me down. Got my boy uh, right over here to this side, my boy Chisel. Yeah, that's right, that's Chisel rocking the Project hoodie in white, love that. Shout out to Chisel for always, always supporting. Thank you, brother. Uh, over here sitting on the couch, you got my boy Chonkers. That's right, Chonkers. Chonkers bad beard, beard day. You know what it is. Also rocking a side project hoodie. I can't believe it, man. The new zip up logo hoodie. Thank you for supporting. Shout out to all my people who support. Appreciate that. Over here behind the camera hanging out. What's up, man? We got my boy Chilver Churfer. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Chilver Churfer, yeah. nicknamed after the Silver Surfer. I mean, obviously, it's the only way to go. Uh, get rocking. Got, got on the Project yeah. Network T, man. Project Network. Yes, the okay. Project Network T. All right, dude. And mic'd up here today because he might say some things throughout the duration of the episode here and there. A lot of good times with this guy. Give it up for my boy, Chario. Yeah, Chario in the house. That's right. Chario's my name. Yeah. Yes. All right. Also rocking the uh, the the uh, the Project Lodian T. Project Lodian T. All up, all up in it. Appreciate that, man. Never let me down, my boys. All right, yeah. High five yeah. in the air. Oh, yeah, you high got fives. it, man. Yeah. All right, woo. Oh, yeah. Hey, All happy right. anniversary, man. Thank you guys for coming, man. Appreciate it. Um, last year for uh, the Halloween episode, which was the fiftieth episode as well. The the fiftieth and the and the year anniversary episode came one week after one another. Um, oh wait, hold on. By the way. I'm rocking the combat in the grid shirt today. Look at this. Combat in the grid. You guys know, if you guys don't know what combat in the, in the grid is, I'll throw up a little uh, thumbnail where we had um, Mike Patron from Combat in the Grid, also a cosplayer, on the show. And it's a, it's a whole thing. He's writing it. He's producing it. He's directing it. He's acting in it. There's all kinds of people that are included in it. Many cosplays of the week that are included in it. You need to go check it out. You need to follow them. You need to follow him. You need to follow everybody involved. And you need to go check out that episode to get further information. It's like a Power Rangers, Mortal Kombat, crossover, mix-up, matchup. They're fighting each other. They're fighting together. It's all kinds of crazy shit. And you need to go check it out. Last year for the Halloween episode, when Juice was still on the podcast regularly, uh, we did the Pocky Chip Challenge. Shout out to uh, Yessi Gonzalez, who sent us that, a viewer of the show, a projector, a tuner inner of the show, Chasasaurus Rex. <laughs> um, and uh, it was, it was kind of fucked up, but it wasn't, it, it, was, it, it was messed up, it was hot and everything. The Pocky Chip Challenge, the One Chip Challenge, it was hot and everything, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Ah, I remember that, yeah. It was pretty bad, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. What it was is it didn't last as long as I thought it was going to last, you know? No, nah, you didn't do too bad with that, man. With that being said, just for fun... I know I'm going to be the only one doing it, but just just because I people like torture, I'm going to do right here, right now, solo. Not doing besides it. Besides all my awesome friends that are here, obviously. Woo! Um, 
I'm going to do the Pocky One Chip Challenge, the 2021 version. This is slightly different than the one that we did on the 50th anniversary episode. This one uh, is a Carolina Reaper plus a Scorpion Pepper. Uh, I believe it's different. I don't remember that being a thing on uh, the other one. Man, they really taped the shit out of this box, huh? Just going to ruin it. Who cares? Yeah, you got you it, know? Man. Yeah. There we go. Let's get it out here. What is all this? What is it? It comes with like instructions. What's happening here, dude? Choose your challenger. All kinds of different stuff. Oh, yeah, they got different ones. Oh, okay, well, that doesn't matter. Fuck all that. Let's see what to expect. It says, what can I expect here? It says round one, a spicy punch. Round two, Scorpion Sting. Not, can be conf- not to be confused with the Scorpion King from the, the, the rock from the Scorpion King. Thank God that's not happening here right now. <laughs> yeah, thank God. <laughs> Vision Disruptor. Oh, shit, man. I don't want that. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I, I can't have that, man. Um, gut Slash. And then round five is Roasted. Round four is gut slash. Round five is roasted. It says this chip will destroy you. Okay, now I'm second guessing doing this. Made with Carolina Reaper pepper and scorpion pepper, this straight from hell chip was created for the sheer pleasure of intense heat and pain. Fuck. Oh, I'm so ready for this. I'm kind of second guessing this. Um, Be all right, man. Just drink a little bit of water. I'm kind of second guessing this as I'm as I'm reading it right now. But I already said it, so I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't bitch out, man. I can't bitch out. So if you didn't see the last one, what we did was uh, at that time, we did a uh, a horror movie bracket and um, did the chip first and to see if we can continue the episode with uh, our mouths on fire and all messed up. But now it's just me here, Chattasaurus Rex Mug. <laughs> and uh, I don't have anything but water, man. I feel like I should go grab something else real quick. Yeah, you probably should go grab something else, like some, like, rice milk or something, you know? Yeah, the only problem is, is I don't have any rice milk. I literally have nothing. Need to go grocery shopping, so I literally just have water. What else helps? I do have some, like, yogurt or something, some vanilla yogurt. Uh, I may have to go grab, may have to grab that in between this. I don't know. So, Pocky One Chip Challenge 2021. Uh... Carolina Reaper and Scorpion Reaper. I've had Carolina Reaper before. I've never had Scorpion Reaper. I feel like I'm going to majorly regret this. Uh, I don't know if I should do this. I'm (laughs) completely second guessing it as I'm opening it and preparing to do it. Let's see. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, I'm opening it here. I got this so I don't wipe, wipe my hands off. I'll do my best not to touch it completely. So I don't touch anything else. Look at this. Look at this, man. The shit that I do for this fucking podcast, man. Uh, Holy shit. Why am I going to put myself through this, you know? Oh, wow. That smells intense. All right, hold on. Give me a minute. I got (laughs) to... I got to kind of prep myself here, man. Two years. I can't believe I've been doing this for two years. It's time to switch some shit up, though. I'll tell you that much. Uh, give me some time. I'm going to switch some things up, add some new things. I got a couple different guests that are going to come on. I'd like to list them all, but I don't really like listing things ahead of time in case it doesn't plan- pan out. But got a couple really cool guests coming on soon. Right. Happy anniversary. Uh, I'm nervous, you guys, because I know I know the pain and I kind of don't. I don't know. Oh, man. Yeah, you got this, man. Oh, man. I can't do the blurred vision, though. I got I got a fucking show to put on, man. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Yeah, put, uh, yeah, put it in your mouth. Yeah, put it in your mouth. Uh... Yeah, crunch it. Is it hot? Holy shit, that's hot. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, that's way hotter than last time, you guys. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, I regret this. <laughs> oh, I regret this immediately. 
Yeah, see, I would have done it with you, but, uh, you know, I didn't. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, you got this. Oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what have I done? Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck, I think a little chip fell in my uh, my water, you guys. Oh, I don't even know if I could continue the show. <sighs> oh, my ears hurt. Oh, happy birthday, you sick son of a bitch. Damn it, a little chip fell in the, the fucking glass. Hold on, I gotta empty that out. Oh, no. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, this sucks. <laughs> this fucking sucks. My ears hurt, you guys. Good times. Good times indeed, yeah. Mm. All right. Ugh. I'm going to try to continue the show. <laughs> I am in so much fucking pain right now. Ugh. Fucking chip fragments. All right. You guys hear about the fucking, holy shit. You guys hear about the, uh, the, uh, you guys hear about the metaverse shit that's happening with Facebook? Oh, this is going to be so difficult. I think I fucked up. Oh. Fucking metaverse is a virtual reality space where users can interact with a computer-generated environment and other users. And Mark Zuckerberg, ah, that fucking lizard robot himself, <laughs> is uh, changing the name of the parent company from of Facebook and Instagram and everything, and it's calling, calling it Meta. Meta. Oh, my God, why did I do this? <laughs> and, uh... <clears throat> I don't know, man. It's a little iffy. I haven't watched all of it. I only saw a couple things here and there about it. This is going to make for weird promo clips when people see me just like, oh, yeah, oh my God, oh, my God, the whole time. Just, oh, my God. Oh, I feel like I'm getting high, you guys. Um, well, I'm just going to blind react in a sense to uh, got a little bit of a video, a little 10-minute video here that we're going to skim through and we're going to watch a little bit and we're going to talk about this this metaverse shit. <clears throat> oh my god. Hey, you gonna, you gonna be alright? So much pain. Let's check this out. It is time for us to adopt a new company brand to encompass everything that we do. To reflect okay. who we are and what we hope to build. I all am right. proud to announce that starting today, our company is now Meta. Meta. Our mission remains the same. Okay. It's still about bringing people together. Our apps and their brands, they're not changing either. And we are still the company that designs technology around people. Okay. Hey, All right. Welcome to Connect. Today, look we're at him, dude. Talk about what the, the fuck? Hold on. Starting with the most important. Hold on. Starting with the most important. This dude looks like a fucking robot. <laughs> ah! Uh, you, you gonna be all right, man? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be all right, Chario. Don't interrupt me. Uh, this dude looks like a fucking robot. Look at his hair, dude. It looks like a hair piece that you put on a robot. Looks like you can go underneath his hair and, uh, and, and, and just peel it off. And it's like a robot head with like fucking antennas or some weird shit i don't fucking know dude but he does not i agree i agree with people i don't care call me crazy call me a conspiracy theorist there's so much saliva in my mouth um this dude is a robot lizard for sure 100 percent. look at his eyes they're trying to put bags under his eyes more and more so he looks human like he doesn't sleep he's just working real hard all the time hot Experience of all connecting with people connecting with people okay I feel like it's starting to wind down a little bit 
my mouth that would be Imagine the hotness you put on your glasses or headset and you're okay instantly in your home space it is parts of your physical home recreated virtually or i could just use my eyes and look around my house or I could just wake up in the morning and be like, oh, my eyes are now open. Oh, I'm in my home, physically here in my home. What did he say again? Imagine. Imagine. Put on your glasses or headset and you're instantly in your home space. Put on your glasses or headset and you're instantly in your home space. Or I could just do this. Oh, I'm in my home. It has parts of your physical home recreated virtually, it has things that are only possible virtually, and it has an incredibly inspiring view of whatever you find most beautiful. Okay. Hey, are you coming? Yeah, just gotta find something to wear. <laughs> are you coming? Uh, yeah! Right now as we speak! The Zuck! Yes! Zuck me up! Ah! My name's Chario. Right. Are you coming? Yes! I just gotta find something to wear right. first. Perfect. His avatar oh, looks more human than he up? does. Hi. Hi. Whoa, we're floating in space? Uh -huh. Who made this place? It's awesome. Just right? looks like Ready Player it's One. A crater. I met in LA. Uh, this place is amazing. <laughs> Boz, is that you? Of course it's me. You know I had to be the robot, man. Of course it's me, dude. Supposed to be the robot. <laughs> Boz, is that you? Of course it's me, dude. Obviously. I'm a big robot in person, too. <laughs> Zuck. Shit. Whoa. <laughs> I knew you were bluffing. <laughs> uh, where is Naomi? Let's yes, call her. Naomi. Let's call her. Uh, is he using hey, an Apple Watch? Hey. Sorry, I'm running late, but you've got to see what we're checking out. There's an artist going around Soho hiding AR pieces for people to find. Okay. Maybe street art. That's cool. Send that link over so we can all look at it. This is stunning. This is exactly. stunning. That's awesome. Wow. Oh, I love the movement. Wait, it's it's disappearing. This is amazing. Where's it going? Hold on. I'll tip the artist and they'll extend it. Wow. Okay. Safety. Okay. All right. See, some of these features, they, they're going to be cool. Some of these features are going to be cool. No doubt about it. Be able to do certain things here and there. It's like a game. It's like a game, right? You can have a little bit of fun. It's like a game. You're doing certain things. You're going to see things that you wouldn't. You wouldn't. It's kind of like your reality, but it's not reality. It's reality warped a little bit. You're going to be able to do certain things here and there. But from other clips that I've seen, it sounds like, and I'm sure we'll get to it, it sounds like we are completely replacing physical activity as a whole, real life as a whole. That's not what I want to do. Chat Source Rex mug. Ah, available on the project store now. <sighs> Let's see what he says. Need to be built into the metaverse from day one. You'll get to decide when you want to be with other people, when you want to block someone from appearing in your space. Sounds or normal. When you want to take a break and teleport to a private bubble to be alone. A private bubble to, be alone. Be, to, bring to be alone. Teleport to a private bubble to be alone. What does he mean? Does he mean like an actual, like actual bubble? Like you're just gonna like, oh God, I'm inside of a bubble. Like you just, you're gonna make up just Winnie the Pooh's gonna be there with bubbles and everything, and he's gonna blow you a big bubble and you're just gonna be like, you know what? I am sick of the fucking world. The world that I'm already in that I've created to hide away from the actual world that I live in, and I'm just gonna go inside this fucking actual bubble. And I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm in the bubble. Uh, uh. Just gonna float away. I'm just gonna float, oh, floaties, floaties, floaties. Fuck are we talking about, Chario? Things from the physical world into the metaverse. Almost any type of media that can be represented digitally, photos, videos, art, music, movies, books, games, you name it. <clears throat> Lots of things okay. that are physical today, like screens, will just be able to be holograms in the future. You won't need a physical TV, it'll just be a $1 hologram from some high school kid halfway across the world. You won't need physical screens. 
it'll just be a one dollar hologram from someone across the world i don't know about that i honestly don't know about that i'm not certain that that's a world that i want to live in i think the chip is i think it's done like i don't feel my ear my my ears aren't hurting anymore my eyes aren't really fucked up my sinuses are a little weird uh, my lips are still a little on fire because I touched it with my lips by accident. Um, my mouth is still a little bit hot, but I don't feel like any of the crazy effects anymore. It lasted like a few minutes and then it was and then it was over. I think I over exaggerated. Um, I don't know if I want that completely. And you'll be able to take your items and project them into the physical world as holograms and augmented reality too. Okay. One part of this is Horizon Home, Horizon Home, which is our early vision for a home space in the metaverse. A home space Horizon in the metaverse. Home so basically your house. The first okay. thing that you'll see first when you thing. on your Right, makes sense. Today, there are already a bunch of options to choose My stomach from, hurts. and in the future, anyone will be able to create one. Okay. It's We've like just it's like Skyrim until now because it's been missing something very important. People. Soon, we're going to be introducing a social version of home where you can invite your friends to join you as avatars. As avatars. You'll be able to hang out, watch videos together, and jump. Or I can call a friend and have him come over in real life and we can communicate. <laughs> we can converse together. We can experience life. We can go get some food, actual food, not reality food, not virtual reality food. Uh, chomp, 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 chomp. We can get real food. Ah, that gut punch, gut punch is happening right now. What round was that? The gut slash was round four. Round five is roasted. So if I'm, if I'm feeling, I didn't get any vision disruption. If I'm feeling gut slash right now, round five is roasted. Nah, I think I'm going out of order here. I could uh, just call a friend to come over and we could just hang out in person. into apps together then I think I'm high there is horizon world horizon world which is where you can build worlds and jump into them with people horizon worlds coming to a virtual reality headset near you horizon worlds build your world exactly how you want it you've already built your home in 2021 you put everything in there that you've ever wanted you put all kinds of dildo statues in there because dildo statues is everything that you've ever wanted to have in your real home. But you were always afraid that your mother or your father might come over or your Nana would come over. Nice little old grandma would come over, want to make you some chicken meal and essa, but you'd be like, I can't have you come over grandma because I have tons of purple dildos laying around my house. And you didn't want that. So you never did it, but it was a lifelong dream of yours. So in your virtual Horizon home, you put tons of dildos. But now, coming in 2022, you can now put dildos throughout the entire world. Make your world how you want it and invite your friends to your purple dildo world. Ah, oh, Horizon Worlds by Zuck. Horizon is designed to make it possible for everyone to create. And we're already seeing people build some really interesting experiences. Oh, my from stomach hurts. New games together to throwing surprise parties in VR that family and friends around the world can join. All right. Over the like a fucking half, Zoom meeting. A lot of us who work in offices have gone remote. And while I miss seeing the people I work uh, with, okay. I think we're Yeah, we know how it goes for the jobs. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit for the job stuff. Oh, and we've got an ad. We've got an ad in the middle of it. Yes. Stoked for the ad. All right. Yeah, fall ads. The All ultimate right. goal here Let's see is this. true augmented reality glasses. And we've been working on that too. And today, I want to show you an experience that we've been working on for Project Nazare, which is the Nazare. first full augmented reality glasses. Okay. Here, you'll see you're chatting with friends on WhatsApp and planning a game night. Don't you like WhatsApp. A game, and then as you walk over to your kitchen, you can easily just put your game onto the table and you're off. Okay. And that's the kind of experience that augmented reality will unlock. But as a gamer, these are these are never what they what they are advertised to be, and they're just like little kitty things like this. And I use that that term loosely. My stomach is killing me. All right, um, it's not. They're not the same. Like you're not. It's not the same as like you, the experiences that you're gonna get with all these other games and like certain consoles and, and exclusive games. Like as a gamer, you're not get You're not gonna. You're not gonna get those experiences 
at least not yet. Like Nintendo's not doing this. Like you're not going to be able to play certain games. Like certain games are going to be normal games. And I mean, I don't, I don't want this for every single game either. I don't, I mean, it may be, I've never really done VR. I'll be honest. So I'm going, I'm a little biased here when it comes to this, but I don't want this for every game. It's just speaking about games in general. Like I don't want this for every game. I don't want to just, I, I, sometimes I want to sit at my desk and play a dope like PC game and play keyboard and mouse, or I want to go sit on my couch and chill on my couch or lay down on my couch and play Skyrim or Assassin's Creed or, or call of duty or whatever. I don't always want to be in some like virtual reality. Like fucking, this is everything that I've ever wanted. Like I don't, I don't, that's just me, you know? There's a lot of technical work to get this form factor and experience right. We have to fit hologram displays, projectors, batteries, radios, custom silicon chips, cameras, speakers, sensors to map the world around you, and more into glasses that are about five millimeters thick. Okay, enough of that, all right? Let's, let's stop that. What it seems to me is like the way that I've seen other clips and, too, other clips and whatnot as well, and I don't have them in front of me, so forgive me. I wish I did. It would obviously make for a better podcast. Somebody should have done more research, but I went into this blind, so I didn't know what all this whole 10-minute um, video was going to be about. Um, and probably in editing, I chopped it the fuck up. But it seems to me like uh, there's there's cool things about this metaverse thing. There's there's cool things about it. But overall, I don't know if I like it, you guys. Like, I'm just being honest. I'm not certain that I'm, like, stoked about this. It seems like we're taking away everything physical and making everything digital. And I don't know if this is a good idea. We're going to turn in. It's like we're going to turn into the people, like the overweight, lazy people from Wally. You know what I mean? I don't know. I think we're pretty much already there. Oh! <laughs> zing, zing! Oh! I don't, I don't think we need all that. Like it's, we already uh, are, 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 I, I don't want to get political and I don't want to get into all that shit. You know, we don't do that here, but we already for the, um, the, the majority of us and, and certain people, different places, different things, you guys know how it goes. And I can't say certain words cause YouTube will ding certain things. And I don't want to even want to be a part of that or put in that category, but some people are, are staying home by force. Some people are staying home by choice. And let's just get real for a moment. I know this is like the two-year anniversary. This is a fun episode. My stomach's killing me. I'm probably going to shit fire later. But like, let's get real for a minute. Like, we are missing human interaction, and it's changing us. It's changing us. And I know this is not what this podcast is about, but let me just get real with you guys for a moment, all right? So two-year anniversary. We're doing things differently here today. Happy um, anniversary. Doing things different here today. Got my best friends here. All my all my closest friends are here. Chisel is here. Chonkers is here. The Chilver oh, Chirfer is here. That's right. Oh, oh Chario is here. Everybody's here, man. Everybody's here supporting the Side Project Podcast. Um. Oh yeah, Papa Diddy Puff Magnet Puff Dad Daddy. Bitty. We're already losing. We're losing human interaction. All right. We're losing human interaction. People are forced to stay home. Some people are choosing to stay home. People are scared to interact with people. People are afraid to see their families. And I think we need we need that, all right? We need that. Uh, we need human interaction. We need to interact with one another. We need to feel each other's vibes. We need to feel each other's energy. We need to um, be human beings, man. Uh, we're not built to continuously just stay inside, stay out of the sun, stay away from everything, uh, and see everything through a fucking glass, you know, or through a screen, and not have human contact with anybody. We're changing our structure as a society and we're changing our minds and the ways that we think and the ways that we interact with people. And I'm seeing it as I'm going out in the world and seeing like social interactions and even some with myself because I don't interact with people as often or in the same ways. Um, hey, that's true. That's true. I'm seeing differences with people in the way that they, way that, way, they, way that they act. And so if we, if we do this, where we're pushing this, 100 um, percent online and virtual only reality i guess and like life we're, we're literally gonna take everything everything away and we're gonna get we're just gonna be sitting behind screens just like oh like we're only gonna get up to do what we're only gonna get up to fucking use the restroom to shower to eat and i would hope to fornicate, unless you just, I, I'm sure they're going to do, if anybody has anybody seen Dave, the show Dave, I'm sure it's going to be like that, where it's just like 
full on virtual reality porn and machines that handle that for you, both men and women, and you just put it on and you just do that from a distance. I'm sure the next thing that they're going to do is be promoting that. And they're going to be like, it's safer. It's safer for the community. It's safer for everybody. You're less likely to get STDs unless you don't wash the machine that you're up. Uh, in, 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 you know, I don't know, man. I think we need human interaction. And I don't want this to replace life as a whole. And it seems like they're pushing that more and more and more. And what better time than to do it right now? You know what I mean? But I also see where this is going with like NFTs and like stuff like that, which I'm trying to understand more and get in into more. Um, but I don't know, man. I don't know if I want uh, the Zuck to control every aspect of my life and every little thing of my life. Hey, you guys want to go get a hot dog? Yeah. And you put on your fucking headset and you go and you get a fucking fake hot dog. Like go out with me and get a fucking real hot dog. I don't even eat pork, but doesn't matter you know is this going to replace dating too like are dating apps going to become like just virtual where you go on a virtual i could see that being a thing where you go on a virtual date first before you meet the person i don't know that may or may not work that may work for some people i think that's just preference but once again like i want to see people i want to meet people i want to do things with real people what if this replaces like conventions like cosplay conventions how does the cosplay community feel about this Am I taking this too far? Am I thinking too far ahead? Because I think this is what's going to happen. I think they're going to push this. Excuse me if you hear me like burping and stuff. If you're just tuning in randomly and you hit the middle or this becomes a promo clip. I did the one chip challenge, the 2021 version, the Carolina Reaper and the Scorpion Reaper. And I got all kinds of things going on. Uh, I'm not feeling too many effects anymore, but my stomach is killing me. I still got a lot of saliva going on. Chazasaurus Rex Mug. Ah! <laughs> I don't know, guys. I feel like this is going to dumb us down even further than we are. I don't feel like this is a good idea. I feel like this is a good idea in moderation. I feel like this is a good idea in moderation, and I feel like it's a good idea for certain things. But I don't think it's a good idea to replace every aspect of life as a whole. And I feel like that's what they're doing, you know, like with the whole Internet 2.0 and all that stuff or whatever it is. And the NFTs and everything that's going on, I feel like we're headed towards everything that we've seen in movies, a Ready Player One type situation. And I think it's gonna, um, I think it's gonna make us a lot more depressed. I, I hate to get like super serious and shit on this, but I really do think it's gonna like, I think it's gonna make us a lot more depressed because we're human beings and we we're social creatures. You know, some some more than others and some less than others. I'm a I'm a little bit of an introvert. I'm a little bit of a have a little bit of a social anxiety when it comes to certain things. So I'm not talking about that, but I'm just saying we are uh, social creatures. You know. Uh, we need that human to human interaction. And I don't know if this metaverse thing is uh, as good as they're painting the picture uh, for it to be. That's just me, you know? God damn, my stomach is killing me. Let's get into this week's cosplay of the week. Oh. And this week's cosplay of the week is none other than Fred Wolf cosplay and I'm throwing it up on the screen right about oh. Oh. and I just want to preface this Fred Wolf cosplay and everybody involved in Fred Wolf Wolf's cosplay this is going to become a promo clip that's going to be thrown up on Instagram and that's, that may or may not be what you're seeing first and not seeing the full episode during this episode this episode is the two year anniversary episode and it's technically my birthday week episode as well celebrating two things and in honor of those i decided to uh pain myself cause myself pain and i did the pocky one chip challenge earlier in the episode and uh if you want to check out how that went go uh go check out how that went go check the full episode and right now i'm struggling a little bit because my stomach is fucking killing me so forgive me if i mess up at all during this cosplay of the week now you're looking at the cosplay of the week as I was talking and rambling on about this, this is an amazing cosplay of the week, Fred Wolf cosplay as Spawn, and it is literally straight out of hell. And this first picture, because I'm throwing up two, this first picture, because it deserves it, this first picture that you're seeing 
Again, excuse me if I'm talking weird or anything. Got a bunch of saliva in my mouth, and my stomach feels like it's going to pop out of my ass. Finally brought, the caption says, finally brought Spawn to CCA yesterday, and CCA is Comic-Con Africa. It was such an amazing experience to walk around in the full costume and meet tons of amazing people. More pics and videos coming soon, but this picture was quite a while ago, so if you go to his Instagram now, she's the one that I happen to choose as the first one to throw up. And the photo for this picture was, uh, was done by A.G. Coyote. Spelled exactly how it sounds on Instagram. And uh, this was from Comic-Con Af- Africa. And that's Comic-Con Africa underscore official on Instagram as well. This is absolutely amazing. Straight out of hell for real. This straight is spawn of hell. A demon. Oh, hey, I got the, I got the spawn helmet up here too, Fred Wolf. Spawn helmet by Beyond Rail Cosplay if you know him. I don't know if you do, but uh, maybe you do. He sent this to me a while ago and it's awesome. Love it. Feel like I'm a little high from the chip. Uh, I'm going to throw up another picture from his uh, Spawn cosplay that I absolutely love. Look at this, you guys. This is absolutely insane. And this was done by Phantom underscore Pixel underscore Photography underscore. And he says on the caption, let's start the spooky week with the first pick from last year's amazing shoot with Phantom Pixel Photography. And Phantom Pixel, this photographer, this photo, this edit, this everything about this is absolutely crazy. You see, like his uh, his, his, his his the helmet that you got going on there. It's all fucked up and and, and fleshy, but scully, but bloody, and all that stuff. You got the little bl- gleam in his eye. You can see the teeth and everything. The hands are close up with the claws, looking amazing. Big old hands. You see the cape flowing in the background, all the green and the smoke. Absolutely amazing. I want to go over back to the first picture one time, real quick again. Because it's got the full body, so you can see everything. Look at the way that the the cape flows and everything. It's so amazing, man. So comic accurate. The chest piece, the whole outfit, the whole the whole piece. I don't know if it's a one piece. I don't know what it is, but it's amazing, dude. The detail is so insane. It's so comic accurate. It's so it's just so insane, dude. And you got the um. The ammo piece going across, I forgot what it's called there. The ammo strap going across. His absolute machine gun just... Fucking crazy, dude. Crazy, man. Um, And the gauntlets that you got, absolutely monstrous. Very much so matching the um, the boots and the... Uh, the uh, what do you call it? Like the ankle guards or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, man. This is, this is, this is insane, dude. This is absolutely dope. The belt, the skull belt, holy shit, Taki mushrooms. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely amazing, dude. I would love to see this in person, man. I would love to stand next to it. How tall are you, dude? I wonder if this is like, this has got to be beefy and big. You know what I mean? This is crazy, man. Fred Wolf Cosplay. You guys go follow him. Fred Wolf Cosplay on Instagram. Spelled exactly how it sounds. Follow the photographers and everybody involved. I believe that you did. If not all of this, the majority of this, wow, my stomach is killing me. If not all of this, then the majority of this yourself, right? Because I saw you making things on Instagram and whatnot. This is absolutely amazing. Like I said, everybody go follow Fred Wolf Cosplay because Fred Wolf Cosplay, your spawn cosplay of the week for me is amazing. We interrupt this program to bring you... This week's episode is sponsored by Quirk Chat. Let's talk geek. Quirk Chat is a video social network for everything geek fandom commentary. Need a friend for discussing your latest anime topics? Got a theory about what's to come next in the MCU? No matter what it is, Quirk Chat is your place to talk geek. Share anime debates and geek commentary. Record your opinion and add it to the original quip. Download the Quirk Chat app on your app store of choice today and start talking geek. All right, man. All right, man. All right, man. All right, man. <laughs> All right, man. All right, man. All right, man. All right, man. Stomach hurts in a lot of pain. Uh, bloated as shit. Everything else wasn't that bad. It was bad for a few minutes. Like, uh, it was bad for a few minutes. Like my eyes were kind of hurting for a minute. I didn't get any blurred vision though. My ears were definitely ringing a little bit and were really hot. I was really hot. Uh, my mouth was on fire, definitely on fire. Like a motherfucker. One of the hottest things I've ever ate, uh, for sure. Um, but it didn't last very long. Didn't last very long, but my stomach, um, I feel like hell right now. My stomach is killing me. 
My stomach hurts. It's bloated at the top. It's blow. The whole thing is bloated. It's bloated as all beyond all belief. Um, definitely going to spend a good hour in, uh, in, 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 in the King's throne. You know what I'm saying? In the King's throne. Uh, I want to talk about something else though, before I get out of here, see how, see how long I can last doing this before I have to uh, get the hell out of yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pass. All right. That includes the N64 games and the Sega Genesis games that was announced long, not long ago. And it originally was announced with no pricing at first. Um, it recently launched and you can play them right now. The N64 games that are available, the Sega Genesis games that are available. If you have the Nintendo Switch Online subscription, um, but you have to, and if you do have the Nintendo script, uh, online subscription, you have to upgrade your subscription. And the sub has increased from its twenty dollars uh, a year amount to its to now fifty dollars a year. And I find that ridiculous, if you ask me. Not um, doing it, man. And I'll explain why. Yeah, you explain why. Oh yeah, I will. Oh yeah, you will. Oh yeah, I will. Fuck yeah. All right. All right. Oh yeah. Explain it to him. Okay. Firstly, apparently the N64 games are not running that great. And the controller, uh, the button configuration on the controllers is a major issue if you aren't actually playing with uh, an N64 controller, though, which the ones for the Switch are still sold out. They're currently sold out. Um, if you're not using the N64 controller and you're using something such as like the pro controller, the button configuration is going to be awkward when transferring like the button layout uh, of an N64 controller to the pro controller being that you have like the four C buttons, uh, the, 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 um, the a, a and B button and only one analog and et cetera, et cetera. You know how an N64 controller looks and you compare it to today's controller. They don't quite match up obviously. And Nintendo has defaulted it oddly here. Um, Actually, you know what? I have a clip from Wolfden that explains it. He, he explains it perfectly. Let me grab that clip real quick. All right, check this out. Look. The problem starts here with the button configuration. Almost all of the games on this collection use this button configuration. At first glance, it seems fine. A is A and B is B. Y is C left and X is C down for some reason? I guess that's because those are the two that are closest to the A and B buttons. But if that's the case, these are all backwards. B should be Y and A should be B. That's that's how it's laid out here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I also feel like it would make much more sense to be able to remap the C buttons to something like the right analog stick like on a pro controller, right? Cause you visualize like the N64 controller and you got the C buttons and everything. And some of them were like used for cameras and for this and that, that would kind of translate better today uh, to like the, 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 the right analog stick, right? Cause you're using the left analog stick as the only analog stick that's there on an N64 controller. The D pad is there like normal, right? You got the L and R buttons. Those are there like normal. The A and B buttons. Those are there like normal, right? Then you got the Z button. Well, you got the buttons over here so you can figure they can put one, one or the other, right? And then you got the C buttons, which you only have Y and X left, right? On a pro controller, but then you've got a whole analog, analog, uh, 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 uh stick. So if you could have the option at least to, um, put the C button at the right, at the right analog, that would make a lot more sense. Having the right analog stick be the C buttons on a pro controller and use the camera movements, uh, uh, that way with certain games, if you wanted to, although you have to also remember that like the games during that generation, because there weren't two analog sticks, uh, on an N64 controller, the camera movements were different. I think some of them you use like L and R to move, I believe, or like you press L and then you move the stick. And some of them were, were the C buttons, but it wasn't like an analog stick because it wasn't an analog stick. So it didn't move as smooth and I don't know, something like that. You, you get, you get what I'm saying though, right? It wasn't the exact same as today's gaming. Aside from this, man, it seems like the em emulation for a lot of these games are not up to par. For instance, Super Mario 64 is... Uh, better on the recent All-Stars version, which, where's it at? Right here. The Super Mario 64 
is better on the recent All-Stars version than it is on the Nintendo Switch Online version. And that's got a lot of people confused because the All-Stars version wasn't even that great to begin with. And the recent Online version is even worse. So what are we doing here? Then the same goes for many other games, such as like Ocarina of Time looked noticeably better on the Wii and Wii U's virtual console as opposed to the recent Nintendo Switch Online. With objects in the distance looking worse on the online version, water graphics uh, are worse on the online version. And it's like, with all that being said, I still don't quite think that the price is justified to be $50 a year, especially when you compare like the features and everything or the lack thereof and all the abilities or the lack thereof to the competition and the competition's prices. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, um, I believe that for Xbox, it's $60 a year or something, right? Or maybe you pay a little bit more if you get, if you do the game pass or game pass ultimate, which I pay for. And I don't, I don't even remember. Um, I don't remember exactly what the year prices are, or what it totals up to, but I believe it's somewhere around like the 60 plus mark. Right. And then same thing for PlayStation. Correct. Correct me if I'm wrong. I should have looked this up, uh, but I haven't. You know how it goes. But when you compare it to the competition as well, Xbox and PlayStation's got like achievements, uh, the messaging, you've got Game Pass, you've got things like that, you've got cloud gaming, which I think Nintendo has now as well. Headset capabilities though, and not having to use a stupid phone app. And then you've got a more fleshed out experience, a more diverse experience, a more um, a, a feature worthy experience with a lot more games at that, old and new. Why can't I message my friends on Nintendo Switch. Why can't he message his friends? Why can't I start a voice chat within the actual console without having to use the app? Why do I have to use the app? Why are there so little customizations to make the console feel like more like mine, such as themes and whatnot? Where are the themes? Why is everything so restricted? Stop controlling my experience. I feel like if I'm going to be paying $50 a year for Nintendo Switch Online, there should be a lot more going on um, with the Nintendo Switch Online. Like, and it, it sucks because they done it. It feels to me like a lot of it, part of it, uh, forgive me, I'm not a developer, so maybe there's, well, I know there definitely is some development issues with uh, transferring certain like N64 games, certain uh, GameCube games, uh, Wii games, and et cetera, et cetera. I know there's certain issues with certain things uh, with the emulation and stuff. I believe that's what happened with Super Mario 64 and whatnot. I don't remember every little detail. Forgive me. I wish I did. Um, but uh, my dog's coming. Come on. You want to come in? Come lay down? It was her birthday the other the, a couple days ago. By the time this comes out, it was, uh, I don't know, a couple... Four days ago or something. What's up, pretty girl? Say hi to the camera. Look at the camera right here. Look at the camera right here. Look at the camera right here. Totally looking at the camera. Good, good girl. Yeah. All right. Uh, if I'm going to be paying for... Uh, you go, go lay down, pretty girl. You go lay down. All right. Or you can stay right there. Um, if I'm going to be paying $50 a year, I feel like I should have a lot more going on and a lot more games. They've done it with the virtual console with Wii. They did it with the virtual console with the Wii U and they had so much on there, man. NES games, SNES games, Game Boy games, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, um, Sega games, N64, uh, 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 Game you could do the GameCube, obviously you could do GameCube games. Like there was so much on there. I'm forgetting a lot. They had like Neo Geo shit on there. They had like random stuff on there. Nintendo, What's going on, dude? What's happening? There's a lack of new games uh, amongst Nintendo. There's a lack of the ability to play um, retro games and, 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 and their backwards compatibility in the sense of the way that they're doing it. I personally don't like it. The whole like Nintendo Switch Online thing. Like, but I feel like it, some of it is, is it's a money. It's a money grab. It's a money scheme. It's a... It's a way to, uh, but it's also like longevity. You know what I mean? I, I also get that. It's also like longevity. It's longevity for the console. It's longevity for, for their money. They get more money. They work on more stuff. But it's like, when is this going to be outdated? Like everything that they're doing for the Nintendo Switch and they're rolling out things very at a very slow pace and the console's already becoming outdated and we haven't had much going on. You know what I mean? It's supposed to be rolling out like 38 more nintendo 64 games and like 50 something genesis games and i mean it's cool don't get me wrong like i'm not just trying to shit on it as a whole i just don't see the 50 dollar um price tag being justified when we're just getting like a couple games here and there and a couple things here and there but we can't do everything that i said before like you can't message your friends can't talk to your friends in that way 
not getting all the features and everything else that you would get on all the other consoles that make that price tag worth it in my opinion you know i don't know it is cool though that you can play like certain uh certain n64 games online that you were not able to play online in the past but the online sucks and it always has sucked Nintendo, it's time to step in to where gaming is at right now and fix things that other consoles have fixed years ago or that are up here years ago and you're still trying to figure this out. Like, come on, man. It's time. It's time, dude. Nintendo, sponsor the show, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Okay, all right. You know what I mean? What do you guys think, though? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Ah. <sighs> Two years, you guys. Man, my stomach's killing me. Two years, man. Um, I want to thank everybody for supporting the show for two two years. That's crazy, dude. I want to thank everybody for supporting the show and doing everything that you've done. Uh, when you like things, when you share things, when you when you when you help out, when you come on the show, when you guests, this that, all the cosplayers, man. I want to thank everybody, man, from the bottom of my heart. Two years is crazy, dude. Two years is crazy. I don't plan on going anywhere. I plan on doing this. I plan on revamping it. I plan on just moving up, moving forward, getting better and better, having more guests on, doing things, uh, just having a good time, man. You know, I don't want to get all super sappy and crazy because I did it a couple episodes back uh, a couple times and then the whole mental health episode, the uh, end of that, that episode where I talked about it all. You guys already, really, already know if you're a regular viewer of this show, but thank you guys for two years, man. I, I really appreciate that. Like, that's crazy, man. That's crazy, dude. You know, I've seen, I, I've seen a lot of people come and go. I've seen new people get started and, uh, and I just, I, I, I love this, this podcast community. And I can't believe that I'm still here for two years, uh, regardless of what, what it looks like to anybody else. I'm having a, I'm having a great time doing this and, uh, I'm going to continue doing it, man. Let me get my footing as uh, I move forward a little bit more doing this solo 100%. And um, man, it's been a great time and I just can't wait to continue doing it, you guys. Excuse my enthusiasm or uh, if this episode is a little out of whack, that Pocky Chip Challenge did fuck me up a little bit. Uh, like I said, it's just like the stomach now. Now my stomach is killing me and I feel like ass. Um, but yeah, man, fucking A, dude. Fucking A, man. Two years, dude. Hell yeah, man. I want to thank I want to thank all my friends for being here and supporting, dude. All my friends for being here, for showing up for the two-year anniversary, for showing up to celebrate my birthday. I thank you guys so much for all my friends for buying the uh, the merch, man. You guys supporting since day one. That's crazy. Chisel. Uh, Chario over here. That's right. Uh, Chilver Churfer. Fucking Chodok, whatever your name was. I don't even remember. Uh, man. Happy birthday. Great time, though. Seriously, man. Thank you guys for watching, for liking, for commenting, for sharing, for doing all of those things that you do over on YouTube.com slash Side Project Podcast. When you go down, you hit that big red subscribe button that says subscribe because that's what it says. And it goes, oh, subscribe to me. Subscribe to me because it really helps me out. It really helps me out. Um, bye. Bye. Yes. Thank you guys for listening on Apple, Google, Spotify, and all those things you listen on. You rate, you read, you thumbs up, you do all the things you do. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. If you're looking for me, you can find me at IG Hates Chazzy on Instagram and everything else you want to find me on is right here. Follow along. Oh, yeah. If you're looking for the podcast on Instagram as a whole, you can find it at Side Project Podcast. Oh, yeah. Chario, why don't you go ahead and do the outro, man?